Hello everybody, it is the AFL Yank back here again in time for another AFL tipping video. And I had a really good, I gotta say, I had an absolutely fantastic round 15 this uh, this round. Um, got 5 out of 6 tips correct. The one I got wrong was obviously the D's, who I tipped against Geelong to beat them at GMHBA, but yeah. Cats are tough to beat at GMHBA this season, obviously. And they proved it. They ended up proving it, definitely, this past round. Uh, despite Jeremy Cameron, obviously, going down. But yeah, of course, uh, Jeremy Cameron obviously went down in a friendly fire collision. And, uh, yeah. But nonetheless, a really good round of footy this, uh, this time around. Um... Brisbane dominant against St. Kilda. The Saints are starting to fall apart just a little bit. They're not like in like drat. They're not like in like hot water right now, but St. Kilda are definitely under a lot of pressure in these coming weeks. Like it's possible they could slip out. And then the Swans. 200 points, the first side to score 200 since 2011, with an, with a marvelous performance against the West Coast Eagles. Absolutely huge. But yep, it's the Eagles' worst loss ever now. It's now the Eagles' worst loss, by, marginally, by 171 points. But yeah... Really liked what the Swans brought to the table. I mean, I get it's West Coast, but still, the footy they played was absolutely flawless. They dated a lot better than I expected. I mean, at worst, like the Swans would have just won by like fifty at the wor in the worst case scenario, but still an absolutely dominant performance. What I'm really hoping to see is that the Swans can build off of this and. Hopefully make a run for the eight. I think it's possible. They just they just need to build on the pressure, which is some which has been something that they've had problems with. And I mean, injuries have played a part in it with their struggles. So, we'll have to see how things go with them if they can stay uh, if they can stay clean because the Swans do have a very good run around this time of the year. They they had fantastic runs in June. In, they had fantastic. They ended up having very fantastic runs, obviously, and uh, around this time of the year, they did in 2021 and 22, where they lost only one game in July, and then, uh, and then of course, they only lost one game in their stretch uh, in 2021 as well, which happened in August when they lost to St. Kilda. Frio versus Essendon. Frio got a big win at off this. I had a de I I dared myself to tip Essendon obviously last week, but yeah, gotta go Frio in this case. Just an absolutely dominant performance. And then at the MCG, it's Collingwood beating the Crows by two points in an absolute thriller of a game. The Crows are definitely a really good side at the moment. But yeah, they're definitely going to have to fight it off in the coming weeks. But I think the Crows, I think they can keep their run in the eight. They can manage it really well. And finally, the Suns versus Hawthorne. A big win at... A big win in the Gold Coast. Just the Suns absolutely dominant. Just an absolutely dominant performance all around against the Hawks. I mean, the Hawks are rebuilding, but... Still, both sides... They've had a little bit of issues, but... The Suns actually are in pretty good contention to actually make the 8th this year. They're having a very decent run this season. So now let's get to the round 16 tips. That's the end of the recap. And beginning it off on Thursday night at the GABA, it is the Brisbane Lions versus Richmond. Both sides coming coming off, of course, uh, we have the Tigers. Um, they're coming off the bye, I'm pretty sure. And then the Lions, they're coming off a huge win against, uh, coming off a massive win against, why did I forget it already? Oh, oh, massive win against St. Kilda. Just did the Tiger? Yeah, the Tigers didn't play last week. They're coming off the bye. So yeah, Tigers coming off the bye, and the Lions coming off a massive dominant win against St. Kilda. And 
and uh, they absolutely tore it up last week. And I expect the Lions to do the same, especially being at the Gap. They are usually a very, very dominant side. Very dominant side at home. And I say the Lions get it done by... Th I'll say the Lions, they defeat the Tigers by... I mean, I mean Richmond, they've been playing some decent footy as of late, but... I just think the Lions are going to manage it better, and I'll say the Lions win by 19 points. Let's see, I'm going to go Lions to win by 19. And then the Friday night game at the SCG, the second matchup between both these sides, it's the Swans versus Geelong. The Swans, of course, coming off a massive win against the Eagles and the Cats, coming off a big win against the Ds. And, of course, these two sides met. Of course, the last two times both of these sides met, of course, they were absolute blowout wins for the Cats. Of course, the 2022 Grand Final where Geelong won by 81 points. And then and then uh, around, it was around six this year when they met. And, of course, uh, the Cats absolutely dominated the Swans, winning by 93 just an absolute it's been an absolute horror show the last two matchups but yeah we might have a chance with Jeremy Cameron out but the real thing we need to focus on is to build on pressure and we are getting a little bit more healthier which is definitely a great sign but I am just I'm just unsure heading into this game I mean we can definitely pull off a massive upset but it's gonna be really tough Nonetheless, uh, having Tom McCartan probably getting T-Mac and some other key players back will definitely be a massive plus. Honestly, I'm just hoping we don't get we don't get Buddy back in. Like, I'm sorry. Just we're ready to be without Buddy, and I think we're definitely way more competitive without him. I mean, don't get me wrong, Buddy's a great player, but. He's an absolute legend of the game, but we just get too centric on him. And it's resulted in us having some bad luck in recent years. Well, it's had us having some pretty bad runs this season. But nonetheless, uh, I just think Geelong are going to win this game. Look, I think the Swans will definitely be competitive, but... I just I just feel like the Cats are going to be way more competitive heading into this game. And it's if if this does happen, it's definitely going to be a it's definitely going to be a big blow for the Swans finals chances. But yeah, I'm going to say Cats actually win it in a closer like the Swans. I think they might actually have a big lead at the end, but then they blow it away like they did against Port and GWS. I'm going to say Geelong win by 8 points. Hey, I'm going to say for right now, Cats win by 8 points. I'm just... I just don't know if the Swans can actually, like, finish off games. But I'm hoping they do. Because if they build on the pressure from that Eagles game, they can really dominate some good sides. They really need to upgrade their pressure. Because... If they win against the bad sides, they need to improve level by level just if they really want to focus on a finals run this year. And unless they don't and if they prove me wrong Friday night, they'll definitely give me hope. So yeah. And then at the Adelaide Oval, it's the Crows versus North Melbourne, no doubts about it. But yeah, this is beginning the Saturday games, but yeah, no doubts about it. The Crows are winning this game. And, uh, oh, I guess Squiggle has it mixed up for some reason, but nonetheless, we'll get to the Doggies versus Frio in the meantime as well. So, yeah, um, also at the same time at Marvel Stadium, it's the Western Bulldogs versus Frio. The Dockers played a really good game last week, but I just think the Doggies are going to be way more competitive in Victoria, obviously. So, yeah, um... The Doggies have, a, have had a decent run this year. They could possibly sneak in in the 8 this year. And uh, I'm confident with a Doggies win, they should get it done pretty well. I'm going to say by 28 points. And for the Crows versus North Melbourne game, 
I think the I think the Crows get a big win. They win by fifty eight points and have a dominant and they're do, and they have a dominant performance all day. And then and the Gold Coast, the Suns versus Collingwood. It would be crazy to see a uh, it would be crazy to see a Suns upset in the Gold Coast. I mean, they actually have played pretty well. They've actually played some pretty good footy there. But in my eyes, I just think calling we're going to be too tough for them. I think the Pies, they get it done by 17 points. I think the Suns, they will put up a decent performance against against the Pies, but I just think calling we're going to be the better side in general. Then at the MCG, it is Essendon versus Port Adelaide. The Saturday night game, it's going to be an interesting one. The the Bombers have shown that they're pretty competitive. They're a pretty competitive side, but I feel like Port are going to outmatch them. Yeah, Port they're coming off the bye this round, and uh, I expect them to be to come out very competitive and remain a dominant side as usual. Let's see, I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm going to say Port, they win by 33 points. They get a good win. I mean, Essendon, they could compete, but I feel like they're slowly going to fall apart as well. And then, uh, the Sunday games, beginning it off with Hawthorne versus Carlton. Now, I know the Blues, they have absolutely struggled all year, but they should handle a side like Hawthorne. The Hawks, if they do get a win here, it would definitely be their biggest win of the season, but... I expect Carlton. They should get this done. They should. It should at least be a manageable win for the Blues, and I feel like they get it done. And then next, uh, TIO Traeger Park. Pretty sure it's in. Uh, I was about to say uh, Darwin, but yeah, it's nor it's uh, the D's versus GWS versus. Yeah, it's the D's versus the Orange team, in the GWS Giants. At TIO Traeger Park. The Giants, they've been a very mixed bag team this year. They're very mid range. They're actually doing pretty well in terms of rebuilding. But I expect the D's to be much stronger than GWS. And I'll say they win by 45 points. I'm going to say a 45 point win for, for, Mel, for the D's. And finally, at Optus Stadium, the Eagles versus St. Kilda. No doubts about it. Going St. Kilda. They're going to absolutely dominate this game. They're probably going to get a very wealthy big margin marginal win. And I'm going to say uh St. Kilda win by 106 points and they get a good re- and they get a good boost on the ladder from this win and it should definitely uh increase their It should definitely be a field day for St. Kilda in my eyes. And hopefully they uh, they get it done. So, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I actually really enjoyed uh, the footy of round fifteen, and I'm looking forward to round sixteen. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, this is the AFL Yank signing out. And here's to looking forward to this to hopefully a redemption run for the Swannies. But I'm in doubt. But who knows? It could happen. All right. See you mate soon.